purpose of this video is to teach you how to graph piecewise functions. So what a piecewise function is, it's a function composed of subfunctions. So this video corresponds with worksheet 1.1.3j in our um, in our classroom. So 1.1.3j. So for example, we have number one. Um, so f of x is equal to negative 2x minus 1 when x is less than or equal to 2. And um, the function is negative x plus 4 when x is greater than 2. So basically what that's saying is this function is composed of these two lines. Um, this line is what the function is until 2, including 2. And then right after 2, it, um, the function follows this, follows this line. Okay, so what I like to do first is to draw the kind of the dividing line. So the two is the dividing line here. So I'll do a dashed line at two. The dash just indicates that it's an important, um, it indicates something about the graph, but it's not actually a part of the graph. Okay, so now I have negative two X minus one. And I'm going to graph that first just because I'm going just from left to right, top to bottom. So negative 2x minus 1 is a line, um, and it's going to be everything up until the, the border, the boundary. Okay. So sometimes if you know that your graph includes the y-axis, um, you can start there. So my negative 1 is the y-intercept. So you can start there, and then you know the slope is negative 2. So from negative 1, you know you're going to go down to right 1 down to right one. And because the graph is less than or equal to two, um, two negative five is actually a part of the function. And then you can continue your pattern from there. And that's that part of the graph. So that's negative two X minus one when X is less than or equal to two. Another way sometimes people do it is they look at if you substitute two into the function it's going to be negative 2 times 2 minus 1, which will be negative 5. So you'll have a point at negative 2, uh, 2, negative 5, and then you can work backwards from the slope. So if the slope is negative 2, right, you can go up 2, left 1, up 2, left 1. So it's just another way to do it. Okay. The next part of the function is negative x plus 4 when x is greater than 2. So that, the 2 is not actually a part of the function. Um, or the value of the function at two is, is actually this function, not this function, okay? So again, we can do the same way as we looked at this one where we can do, okay, this is the x-intercept, that's positive four, right? and then we can, I'm not actually gonna draw the graph because it doesn't actually start taking place until after the dotted line, but start at four, down one, right one, down one, right one, and then right here, we're gonna have an open circle and then down one, right one, down one, right one. Now I can actually start filling in the values. Down one, right one, down one, right one. And that'll be um, negative x plus four, okay? Another way you could do it is just, you know, the second way I showed you with this is, I'm gonna put in quotes f of two, because it's not really f of two. The function doesn't actually correspond to this at two. It's, it's open, it's greater than two. So, but we can put in negative, two plus four, we know that's equal to two. So we know we have to, we would, the boundary marker for this would be two, two, and then we can go down one, right one, from, down one, right one from there. Okay. So I hope that was a helpful example of how to graph a piecewise function. You sketch the border, um, you determine what the value of the function would be at the border and use the slope or plug in other points of the function to get your in-between values.